this video I'll show you how you can make a cool image just like this one with effects, blend modes and masking. Okay, and I'll just start by creating a new text object. I'm just going to go here and make it bold. I'm going to make the color a little bit different. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. I want to make this perhaps two lines long. And centered in the middle. make this one here a little bit smaller okay and I'll show you how easy it is to make this look really cool just by adding some effects so I'm just going here and one I would really enjoy using is the shadow effect and you can just give some shadow like that and you know, actually, right now, I could be displaying this on a t shirt. So it's really easy to, you know, have a t shirt with your own text on it. I'm going to pick here another color. Really easy. Okay, and for no, I can just keep adding more effects. I can just reuse the same effect once again, so it gets shadow twice. Or I can create a completely different one here, with, for example, glow. So I can have here choose here a glow color. I'll just pick the green. You know, it's not doesn't look good but you know it is just to demonstrate the glow see how it has a green glow right I can move the effects change the position of it so now the glow comes before the shadow okay um, and in the colors you can of course mess around with the color options here, hue and stuff like this, for example. Okay, for now, I'm gonna leave this here and I want to show you guys how to work with blend modes. And for that, I'm just gonna open here a new image. Just gonna go to find an image on the internet. And you know, perhaps I can use this one here. Okay. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna remove here this black part. I'm going to Paint pocket fill. I'm going to choose here no color. It will go to erase automatically. I can just oh that's too much. I'm going to say here undo. I'm going to put here my tolerance a little bit down. That's it. Okay. And I'm going to go to the layer here. I'm going to give it a little bit of blur. A little too much. Just two here. That's it. So I have here my image. 
I'm going to move. I can, you know, see here the text is the hide it, and I can move it like in front, in front here. You see here when I go to P2 and I choose here blend mode, you can choose multiply. It will, you know, see how it will be get transparent and multiply with the background. I can say screen alpha. It will erase. So I could, you know, do something like this. So only what I have on the back of the image is going to be displayed. And I have here the erase. The erase mode, the text will erase whatever is in there. to my effects, I'm gonna remove here the shadow and the glow. I can leave the glow on because it's pretty cool. You know. And I can see how this will look on a t-shirt just by going in here and selecting the whole page and say view products. It. Very cool t shirt that we make really quick. So let's go back here. And you know what I can do? I can take this whole thing, I can move it inside a panel. For example, I can go to the creation tool here, I can add a panel as big as the page. Here it is. And then I can move stuff inside the panel that's it and now I can go to the panel and I can give it for example the shadow effect but before to make the shadow effect work I need to go in here for each of those of these and set inside content There we go. See? So the shadow only applies to the content of the object. But these two children objects, where they have to be here inside the content. Otherwise, they will not be, they will be inside the object, but not inside of the content. So just have to remember to set this, this one. But to make it even, even more simple than this, let's go back to how we had it before. We would just, you know, create it like this, without even without the panel. To make it even more simple, to, this, to have the same thing more simpler, I could just use here the selection tool, make this a selection, and I could say here, insert as a new object and deselect. Then you see here, I'll have a new object. And I can actually you know, hide these other ones. That's it. And now you see I have only one single object with the whole thing inside and it's easier now to go in and put on the shadow. And you can see how it will look again inside the t-shirt. It will look much better. You can buy this t-shirt for $12.95. Okay, we are running out of time, but you know, that's it. I didn't have the time to show how to work with masks, but I'll do that on another video.